Well, YouTube fam, um, I got some bad news. I did a edit, a video for you guys. It was a grocery haul. I showed you all my groceries, what I had in it. Broke down what the foods were. And it was it was a good video, guys. I really went all out on this video. I tried to make each video better, and I'm, I screwed up. I did an amateur mistake, rookie mistake, whatever you want to call it. I got ahead of myself trying to be productive and to still squeeze in a time to stream tonight. I pulled my memory card out of my computer too soon before my video is done uploading. And what happens when you edit these videos, you're literally editing them and you're saving them as you go, right? So in case your, your hardware or your software crashes, you're able to not lose all your hard work and I pulled the memory card out before the, the software could actually upload and pull the footage from the memory card. And by doing that, it basically uploaded a blank black video about two minutes into the video. It just goes black and there's nothing there. There's nothing there. I tried to go back and fix it. I tried to go back and look for it. I accidentally got on my memory card and deleted everything because I didn't think I needed it no more. I was just getting ahead of myself. I was trying to do a video to unbox these products I got today and I screwed up and I made a rookie mistake and I've learned a valuable lesson today. Don't rush perfection. I really got ahead of myself and I regret it. You know, four hours of my life, I'll never get back. Although the good in that is you could take from that is that I, I learned to edit it. I got quicker at it, I got better at it. And for future videos, I'll know how to kind of speed things up. But it still sucks because I really, I really screwed myself up, man. And I, I feel terrible about it. Like, I, I just don't even have the words to describe it. It's a bad feeling when you put that much work into something and you can't show it to the world or show it to anybody for that matter. Had a sick thumbnail picked out and everything, but in life, we're gonna be dealt shitty hands sometimes and we have to adapt and overcome. And that's my big mindset right now is I wanna adapt and overcome. So I thought, what can I do to get a video out tomorrow to you guys still? It's eight o'clock at night. I know the lighting's shitty in here right now, but just bear with me. We got some products that came in today. So this is actually like a lifesaver. These came in today. I ordered them about a week ago, finally got them. Great products from Axe and Sledge. I love the products. I have not had a protein yet. I'm looking forward to trying it tonight. I got some demo day. We got some hydraulics and non-stim pre-workout and we got the grind for your BCA's hydration. Now, I don't know much about these products. I'm not going to pretend I do. So I called in a favor and got my buddy Joseph to help me out. And he's a good dude. He helps me with my streams. One of my guys. Um, look forward to working with him. With great great things come with him and us. So basically, what what we got here is well, we got the shake cup, obviously. That's the good stuff. I like the shake cup. It's actually a durable one. It's not like a cheap one. So what we got here is a hydraulic. What this is, is actually, it's going to, it's, it utilizes a patent called Geyser Size. I hope I'm saying that right. There's a great for accelerating water supply into the muscle so you should get a good pump. I've taken this, I've used one of these already, great pump enhancer. If you're looking for something without the stimulants and all the extra caffeine, basically mix one scoop, you can mix up to two scoops and get the extreme pump they call, but one pump is all you need to be 100% honest with you. You get 40 servings out of that. It's a really good product. Now we got next here on the list is the grind. What this is, I mean, and look at that, look at the designs of that, that's just sexy. The grind utilizes EAAs and glutamine and hydration formula to help with hydration joint recovery, and muscle st stamina. So this is really good for drinking before, after, or during your workouts. I preferably drink it after my workouts when I get home. I don't like carrying all the stuff in my truck with me, but I sometimes take a scoop to work with me as well just to get it in, help get my water supply in. Next up, we got the demo day. Now, I've never had any of this stuff. This is a carbohydrate powder. I've never taken this before. I've heard a lot of people that utilize it to get extra carbs in during their workout, after, or before their workout. So it's something to help get extra carbs and help with the pump. So basically what the uh, demo day does is a carb source for additional glycoside, Glycer size, I cannot get that word down. Uh, in there as well, the demo day is going to be your main size builder. So basically what this does, it's help in pushing the carbs in there during your workout is what I'm getting from it. Again, from the quick research I've done and what my boy Joseph is telling me is that you basically, this is just pumping carbs into your blood supply as you're working out. You know, get that pump in there, really feel the pump. Last but not least, we got the farm fed. Of course, protein is basically protein. This is good stuff. It smells good. Cookies and cream. I'm ready to try it tonight with my rice cakes. You guys know what I eat every night. Rice cakes with the peanut butter jelly and a little bit of this. And what's crazy is Seth Yorsi actually does that. And in one of his videos, he has an eating day. And he literally, at the end of the night, has rice cake, peanut butter, jelly with the protein shake. This is literally what I eat. I've been eating it for months now. It's amazing. Basically, gonna take one scoop of farm fed, um, 18 ounces of water immediately after a workout if you want. Or you can even do it at nighttime with some almond milk. It's gonna help get that extra protein in. It's gonna help you stay satiated, whatever that word is. Basically, I have not tried this yet, so I cannot rate this for you guys. But I know that I have had the hydraulic and the grind. And if you guys are looking for good BCAs and good some source of pump, this is it, guys. I promise you. They're a little more expensive, but I found out in the supplement industry, if you want something that's worth utilizing and worth the value of what you pay for it, you pay for what you, you get what you pay for. Like if you want good products, you're going to pay for it. Go to any supplement company that's actually a well-known supplement company that's really good, has good products, good tasting products, good working products, you're going to pay a little bit more bang for your buck, but you're getting what you pay for at the end of the day. <sighs> Got caught in mouth. So delicious. 
that's unicorn blood and it's amazing not gonna lie but anyways guys that's kind of gonna wrap this video up i don't have a whole lot to say right now uh besides i'm sorry i'm upset at myself I hope this video was a little bit of, you know, something entertaining for you guys. I know that's not the best. With everything that just happened, I'm just kind of trying to get it out and forget about my mess up. But I will say this, guys. I'll leave you with this. At the end of the day, you have to know that when you mess up, it's okay. We are human, and we, we're going to make mistakes. It's just it's encrypting our DNA to mess up at times. We're not perfect. If we were perfect, the world would be a boring-ass place, dude. So, you know, take your imperfections and work on them and just kind of alter how you do things and learn from your mistakes. The biggest thing to do is make sure you learn from your mistake. I'm not saying you'll never not make them again, which is okay, but as long as you learn from them, that's what matters the most. So with that said, guys, uh, I hope you truly enjoyed this video. I hope that next week I can pump out a really good grocery haul for you guys. I'll go full out next week. I'll give you guys the best video I have yet. We're just going to keep trying to improve from here on out. But again, can't dwell on the past. We can't take it back. we got to improvise and adapt and overcome, as I said. So with that said, you guys have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you.